I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Heather Kell, and I'm the content creator behind Kell of a Plan. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, kellofaplan.com, Etsy. I'm in all the places. And I'm also a mentor for the Happy Planner Squad. And I am here today to share some planning tips for the holidays. So our class today is actually titled making your list and checking it twice because it is time for the holiday season. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot believe that it is the holidays. Like I know 2020 has felt like it's been forever long, but at the same time, I feel like it's gone by so fast. I'm super excited that the holidays are here. I think we all could use a little gratitude and joy added to our lives this year. So I'm so excited that it is the holiday season. And I'm really excited to be here with you guys today to help to talk about making different lists for your planner that are that are going to help you get through this holiday season. So today we're going to be starting out by talking about different ways to track gratitude in our planners. Thank uh, Thanksgiving is this month for us here in the United States. And so November is kind of um, a month of gratitude. It's like when a lot of us take time to slow down and focus on the things that we're thankful for in our lives. So I'm going to show you guys a few different ways to track gratitude in your planner. And then we're going to move into the Christmas season. And I have a few different lists that I'm going to show you guys how to make for your planner regarding the Christmas season. So we're going to kind of start with Thanksgiving, and then we're going to move into Christmas. Okay. So I'm going to have the Michael's friend Bianca switch my camera to my overhead camera. I'm going to bring it down so that you guys can see just my desk. And we are going to start with gratitude. And I'm going to be showing you guys three different ways that you can track gratitude in your planner. I don't know about you, but in November, I always try to slow down and every day focus on gratitude. One of my favorite quotes is, Grat gratitude turns what you have into enough. I love that quote. And it, it's so easy to get caught up into the negativity and the mindset of like you, of comparing yourself to others and you don't have enough and you, and things are going so badly. But if you slow down and you focus on the things you do have, gratitude turns what you have into enough. So we're going to start out. I'm going to show you guys three different ways that you could track gratitude in your planner. So the first way I'm going to show you guys my, this is my actual planner from this week. So this is what my actual planner looks like. Um, it's all filled in and yesterday I've checked off some stuff and I've checked off some stuff today, but one way that I'm tracking gratitude in my planner this month is just right here in the sidebar of my planner. This is super easy. You don't have to have, sometimes it's so hard if you like make an extra page or you have a separate part in your planner to flip to, you might forget to go there and track your gratitude. And so it's super easy if you just put it here in the column of your planner where you're looking every day anyway. So this is my weekly planner. I'm already using it every single day and I want to focus on gratitude this month. So I just took a brush marker. Um, I don't know if I have this brush. Oh, this, this is the brush marker I used to letter gratitude. This is a Pentel brush sign pen. They sell them at Michael's in a pack of all the different colors. This is the orange one. And I just used it to letter a bunch of different words, but specifically here, I lettered the word gratitude. And then I just wrote um, like the first letter of each day of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then each day I'm just writing um, one thing that I'm thankful for super easy, super quick. It's not, I'm not having to flip somewhere else in my planner. It's just right here for me to easily do. So yesterday, um, I, I put that I'm thankful for my businesses. I actually run, run two different businesses. And today I put, I'm thankful for teaching others because I'm thankful for this class. I'm thankful for the opportunity to get to teach you guys how to plan a life you love. So, um, I'm thankful for that today. And so super easy just to write it here. I'm going to be looking at this all week anyway. So it's going to be super easy for me just to go over here and write in what I'm grateful for every day. So if you're looking for an easy way to track gratitude, this column, a lot of times we leave it empty anyway. So it's just an easy way to, to add it over there. Now, if you're somebody who wants to have more space to track gratitude, this is another way you can do it. So this is a divider, a November divider that I took from a planner that I'm not using. I don't know about you guys, 
but I end up with tons of planners that I don't actually use because all the planners are cute and I want them all. So this is an older planner um, that I have and I just took out November. And what I did was I actually took a note sheet and I covered the back because this would technically be a weekly spread on the back, but I just covered it up and I have an extra note page. And then I have a monthly view. So if you wanted to be able, th I think this is, it's really cool because if you wanted to be able to at the end of the month to have one look at everything that you're grateful for then you could track this every day for the whole month and you could do this in your normal monthly view like this is my this is the planner that we just looked at um so i could have done it here but i use this for budgeting and i have a reason already for my monthlies and if you don't then that's a great place to track gratitude but if you need an extra space you could just pull out one of those extra months from a planner that you're not using, pop it into your planner. And then each day, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to write something that I'm thankful for. And I also love this because a lot of people tell me that they love my lettering. And one of my biggest tips when it comes to lettering is to practice, practice, practice. You have to practice all the time. Just find random reasons to write pretty. And so this is one of those places where you can practice lettering. You just whatever you're writing, write it in a cute way, write it a little bit different, mix up your fonts, mix up your markers and just have fun with it. And this is just a fun place to practice your lettering, but also a way to track your gratitude. And I love this because at the end of the month, I'm going to have a whole spread of 30 things that I'm thankful for. And, and that is going to remind me that I have so much in my life that is positive and that I should be thankful for. So this is another um, super easy way to track gratitude. And I just, these two stickers that are already here, um, I got these from the fall sticker book and I just put them in these two little spots and that's all I did. And so I didn't even decorate it a lot because I'm planning on letting my lettering do a lot of the decorating. So that's two ways that you could easily track your gratitude if you're looking for a way to do it in your actual planner. But what we're gonna do now is we are going to make a page for gratitude if you want to have your own like you want a separate gratitude page maybe you don't want it on your weekly maybe you don't have an extra monthly spread to do it on so i'm going to show you um how to make an extra gratitude page that you can pop into your planner in case you don't have the space in your weekly or your monthly so this is the fall sticker book that you can grab at michael's and i went ahead and bookmarked this sticker right here that says give thanks. And this is gonna be a super easy spread. You're gonna see it doesn't have to take a lot um, to do your spreads. Also, I should have said this at the beginning, but I forgot. This is a regular Zoom webinar. I mean, I'm sorry, a regular Zoom call. It is not a webinar. So we don't have a separate Q and A section. So if you have any questions, that you want answered, just leave them in the normal chat section. And Deanna is here and she is going to help um, let me know what the questions are so that I can answer them throughout. But I forgot to say that at the beginning. So if you have any questions about product or what I'm doing or where I got something, then you can drop that in the description or in, the, in just the regular chat. Okay, so I took this sticker and I actually cut off the edge of the sticker. You don't have to do that. You could have just put it down with that edge on there. But I like to cut off the edge and then kind of line it up just like this. I just like the look that it gives. Um, and then it kind of goes off the top of the page just a little bit. So I'm just gonna trim that off. And again, you could have laid it down where that didn't um, happen, but I like to cut my sticker so it doesn't bother me. So this is give thanks. And then I'm gonna take this sticker that says November because I'm focusing on giving thanks in November. And I'm gonna lay that just across the top. And then I think this book, okay. I was I knew it had letters, but I didn't know if it had numbers. It does not have numbers. Um, I was gonna put 2020. So what I could do instead, I could grab that Pentel brush sign pen and I could put November 2020. And I like to put the year just because then if you put this like in a memory planner 
or something that you're going to look back on later, you remember like what month these gratitude things are, were from. Um, so that's really all I'm going to put. I might put like another false leaf sticker, maybe to, that coordinates with this one. Maybe put some down in the bottom corner just to help tie in those leaves. I like to have them go off the page. I'm sticking with the orange. I like to have them go off the page a little bit just because I like the way that looks because it makes it, it, I think it makes it look like the leaves were actually printed on the page instead of a sticker. So once you've decorated it, I want this to really focus on gratitude and not necessarily de the decorations. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull out the colorful shapes book. Um, these come in colorful shapes, colorful boxes. There's all kinds of books that are similar to this one. This one is sold at Michael's. And I am going to pull out some different shapes. And, and these are not gonna be orange because th these are orange and I just don't have orange in here. So I think I'm, mm, I kind of feel like the purple would be a fun color, but maybe I should just go down to the gold. Let's just go to the gold. Okay, so I kind of like this circle sticker because this is a circle so I feel like if I put a circle down here that kind of helps to bring in that circle vibe and what I'm going to do with these stickers is this is where I'm going to write the different things that I'm thankful for this month so instead of having maybe you don't want to do it every single day maybe you know that's something you can't keep up with or you just know you won't keep up with it and so instead you just make one page where you're going to just, maybe you do it at the beginning of the month. You go ahead and write down all the things you're thankful for. Or maybe as the month goes on, maybe at the end of each week, you take a moment and you fill in just a few of the spots. It's totally up to you how you fill it in. Um, I'm trying, let's see, let's add in maybe some hexagons. I could do these in like different clusters just to add some cute design. And you can add as many boxes as you want. And then in each box, write something that you're thankful for. Okay, so maybe I add some hexagons and then We have some triangles. Yes, this is a Fiskar X-Acto knife for someone who's asking. Sorry, I, I didn't see if, I just saw someone comment that. Hmm, I'm like trying to decide design-wise how I wanna lay these. You could also do this with the boxes if you have a colorful boxes book and not the shapes, but I thought the shapes would kind of add a fun design element to it. Okay, and then I kind of feel like I need something down here. So I'm gonna put this one like so, and put a little circle. Now you could end up putting enough of these on here to cover the whole month. Like right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I already have almost half a month. I think it would be hard to fit all 30 days on here. Um, but maybe if you were a little more strategic with where you were going to place the stickers, maybe you could make it work. Um, but the last thing I could take these that are a little bit bigger and just fill these in. I don't really like that there, but I do feel like I need a sticker here.
Okay, so then you can just take, you could just write, you don't have to write pretty, but if you wanted a place to practice your lettering, then you could come in here and write different things. So maybe I'm thankful for my family. Okay, and you could just turn this into a gratitude tracking page for your planner. So those are three ideas for how you can track gratitude. For those of you who maybe hopped on later, um, I'll show them to you again. So idea one um, was technically the idea three was this gratitude page. Idea two was using a monthly spread. And idea number one was adding it into your column on your weekly spread if you like need to fill in that space so those are my three ideas for how to track gratitude in your planner um we're going to move on to christmas now but if anyone has any questions about any of the things i just did i'm happy to answer them now before we move on to christmas were there any questions deanna um, Heather, they were just asking about the kind of pens that you used, and those were the Pentel Art Sign Pen brush, brush yeah, pen. Yeah, so they were the um, Pentel Brush yeah. Sign Touch Pens. It's like the longest name ever. Yeah. But they sell these at Michael's, mm -hmm. um, and they come, you can buy just the black ones, but the colorful ones come in a pack of a either 10 or 12. It's a pack um, of 12. I found them online. A SKU number 105-69781. And I was going to put that here in the chat. Perfect. And then these are some were, of my favorite brush pens because they have a small tip. Right. And then I added the SKU number for the Fiskars item, that, that uh, little finger cutter that you have. It currently, you have one, yours is orange, but the current style has a white. Um, okay handle but it's skewed. yeah mine's mine's pretty old <laughs> okay and the so it's currently white with a little orange de decoration on it and it's 101-55522 and then the fall sticker book was another question that you were using the fall sticker book and colorful shapes so the fall sticker book is 106-45603 and colorful shapes is 106-15322 so that should cover those questions. There were a few people asking about box sets, if, if it's better to buy a box set or an open stock planner, but I tried to answer in the questions about that, but box sets are generally for back to school for teachers and students. And most times, uh, you know, that's what you'll find in those box sets. So you really, if you're just getting into planning, you really probably wanna buy just a planner off the shelf, not a box kit, because you're gonna get a teacher planner and that's not going to be what you're looking for so right sometimes in the past there have been other planners and box kits but i don't think they've done that in a while it's and honestly i time. think that when you buy just a stock planner off the shelf you're able to there's more options you can pick mm -hmm. like what layout works for you and plus in the box kit you only get a few sheets of stickers so mm -hmm. sometimes sometimes it's a better deal just to pick out a few sticker books because mm -hmm. then you're getting the actual stickers that you're going to use versus the stickers that they chose to add into a box kit. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. All right. Well, if there's no other questions, we're going to move on to our Christmas part of this class. And okay. I'm so excited. I love Christmas. And um, we are going to be doing a few different list today list today and we're going to be using i'm going to show you what we're going to be using first and then we'll get started so this is the winter sticker book from this year that you can get at michael's and this is the winter sticker book from last year but it is still available at michael's too i actually bought this last week at my local michael's so the blue one is technically 2019 and the red one is 2020 but they're both still available and they're they're both pretty like they're totally different from each other so there's stickers in both that i think you would love so i personally suggest getting both and then we're also going to be using this notebook that came in the happy planner holiday box set this set is exclusive to michaels.com you can only get it on their website or their app and again it's called the happy planner holiday box set 
It's $39.99. I have a video on my YouTube channel where I unpack everything that's in the box uh-huh. and I show it. I show it everything that's inside, but it comes with stickers and Christmas cards and Christmas bags and tissue paper and this little Christmas holiday notebook. So it's really amazing. It's $39.99 and there's a 20% off coupon right now too. If you haven't grabbed this, I highly suggest it. It's great for um, holiday planning, but we're going to be using a few of the pages that come in this notebook as well. So if you have this notebook already, you may want to go ahead and grab it so that you can plan along with me. And if you don't, that's fine. Maybe you can head to michaels.com when this class is over and order it because it's really, really good. You're going to like it. So the first thing we're going to make is a Christmas gift list because I have to track the gifts that I'm buying. I have three siblings. They're all married. So that's six people. I have five nieces and nephews. I have grandparents and then I have my in-laws and like, it's just a lot of gifts. And I also, my love language is gifts. I love to give people gifts. I love to receive gifts. And so Christmas, I can go a little crazy and just buy people gifts. Like whenever I see something that looks good for them. So if I don't track my gifts, then I'm going to end up with like 20 gifts for some people because I didn't track it. And then when I sit down to wrap, I'm going to be like, why did I buy Madeline seven presents? Like that I shouldn't have done that. So tracking the gifts is really important to me to help me like get through the holiday season. So in this notebook, I wanted to show you that it has a gift list in it. If you want it, if you're someone who's like, I don't want to make an extra page. I want it easy and fast. This notebook comes with a gift list that you can easily use. And you literally just put who the gift's for, what you got, where you got it. If you've bought it, you check it off. And when you wrap it, you check it off. Like super easy. If you're someone who just wants, wants your tracker and you want it done, functional, get it done. And you don't want the creative aspect. This is great. It comes in the notebook. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make your own if you want to make your own. And I'm going to use this notebook also comes with this super cute note paper and it says notes in the top and it has this gorgeous holiday floral, which if you follow me on any forms of social media, then you know I'm obsessed with florals. And so I just love this paper. So I'm going to use this paper to create my own gift list. And I'm going to start um, by using this winter sticker book. And I, I pulled out specifically this little sticker with the sloth and the Christmas gifts. Look how cute is this for a little gift list. So I'm going to put this sloth down here in the bottom corner because I'm making a gift list. And look how cute that is. Now, this right here says notes. And obviously, this isn't, necess- this isn't really a notes page because I'm going to be making a gift list here. And so what you could do is you could easily cover that with a sticker. That would be option number one. Um, Option number two, you could cover it with washi. You could cover it with a white out tape runner or you could just leave it. Like it's fine if you wanna leave it. I'm flipping through here trying to see if there's another good gift sticker to cover or if I need to just cover it myself. Let's see, I kind of like, so this sticker says white elephant gift exchange, which I I do actually participate in those sometimes, but I just want the part that says gift exchange. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off the top where it says just gift exchange. And then I can take this and it's, look, it's gonna fit perfectly over that. And now I have a total gift page that's ready to go. Um, I could go ahead if I wanted more of the sloth, I could take another one and just maybe put them up here just to have a little bit of balance on the page. And then does this book have letters? I can't ever remember. Yes, it does. So I'm going to use these letters and I'm going to spell out gift list okay so these are tweezers that I they're like a long needle nose tweezer I like to use them when I'm placing smaller stickers like this just because it it makes it's a little bit easier um, than using your fingers when you're trying to do these like smaller single stickers 
but the long part of the tweezer is what makes that easy. Sometimes you can find these long tweezers in the jewelry section at Michael's. I don't know if Michael's has this particular pair. Um, I actually had a friend send me these, so I don't know exactly where they're from, but I know that you can find long needle nose tweezers sometimes in the jewelry section at Michael's. So you can check that out there. So I'm just spelling out gift list. Okay. Now, what you could do, I feel like I could go two directions with this page. I could make it more like a wish list. It's like, what am I going to buy for everybody? Or I can make it be like a tracker. What I'm actually going to do, I think, is I think I'm going to take this page because it has a gift list on the back. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to teach you a trick really fast. If you get a Tombow adhesive tape runner, leave this on the discs and then run some tape runner along the edges. Then you can take this. You know, I think someone has their cam their microphone on. If you can mute them, that might be helpful. I feel like I can hear somebody in the background. Um, yeah, I can hear it too, but I am not in charge of the mute. So if you oh. have your sound on, please mute yourself. Yes, if your sound is on, please, please, please mute. I can hear it. It sounds like a TV in the background. Okay, so what I did just there, in case you missed it, I um, taped these two together. Okay, so now I have this side, which is like cute and fun, and this side, which is going to be more of like checking it off. So what I want on this side is I kind of want to use this as like a brainstorming page of what I want to get everybody. And then back here is where I can actually like write down what I got them and where I purchased it from and if I wrapped it. So what I'm going to do here is this is last year's winter book and I have it marked on these cute little colorful boxes. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use one of these for each person that I need to shop for. So let's see. I have five nieces and nephews. So I need to put five boxes down, one for each of them. Okay. Then I have my husband. He's going to need a present. <laughs> then I have my stepmom and my dad. And my grandparents, they usually get a joint gift. So they get one box. And my mother-in-law. My father-in-law. Oh, I'm running out of room. My brother-in-law. And then my siblings, since there's so many of us, we usually do like a secret Santa thing where we're not buying for everybody. And so I can just make a secret Santa. So I've got, this one was crooked. That's why I just pulled it off. Um, and I'm just gonna relay it so that it's not so crooked. I used all of these boxes. I really kind of need one more for the secret sibling, but if it's not a big deal if I don't have that. So then what I could do is I could go through here and I could, I could letter their names if I wanted to be like fancy. That's going to take me way longer. I won't make y'all watch me letter them all, but make a list of who all I need to make, to buy a gift for. Now, one reason these boxes are going to help me is because like I mentioned earlier, um, I buy way too many gifts, <laughs> but since these are kind of tiny boxes, there's only really room to write like one gift. So Maybe it will make it so that I don't buy too many gifts. Um, but I could just 
then I just love making cutesy pages. Yes, the gift page on the back would have worked just fine, but sometimes it's just fun to make your own. So then I would go through, I'd put everyone's name on the boxes and then I can use this side to actually like check things off, mark where this is gonna be really good um, to do like if you're ordering it online, like if you ordered it from Amazon, I would honestly, I would probably change this sticker that says wrapped. And I would probably take a sticker like, like I could take this little strip and lay it down. Cause let's be honest, I do like all of my shopping online for Christmas. I hate the crowds in the stores at Christmas time. So I could cover up, I don't, I don't need to check off that it's wrapped. I love wrapping, that's not a problem for me, but I could check off when it has arrived. So that's one way to easily cover something um, and then make it work for you. So mark, check it off when you've purchased it and then check it off when it has arrived. So that is the cute little gift list that I've made. If there's any questions about this one, um, let me know while I get ready to move on to the next page that we're gonna make. Also gift, just for gift list in this notebook, there's also stocking stuffer ideas, which this is a great page. You don't even have to make it um, yourself cause it's already in here, but stocking ideas are always super hard for me because I just can't ever come up with good little things. And so I love this like brainstorming of ideas and then checking off. And also one thing I love about this notebook, if you don't wanna have a separate holiday notebook, the great thing about the disc system is you can just go through this notebook and pull out the pages that you want and then add them to your regular planner. Like I can add this gift list page, this stocking stuffer page and whatever pages work for me, I can just pull them out and add them to my regular planner if you don't wanna have a separate planner. And then honestly, if you don't use all of these, they're here for future years too. Uh, sorry guys, I'm back. Someone was calling me and it interrupted me. Um, there we go. Sorry. Okay. Yes. This class will be posted 24 hours after it goes live. So it'll be posted tomorrow afternoon. Deanna, were there any questions about that page? Sorry, I had to unmute myself. Um, mostly they asked about the tweezers and I gave us a few because we do have that at michaelsavailable.com. Um, There's some people commenting about being locked down, so shopping is complicated um, for them, but michaels.com has a lot of product available, so if you're, if you're in lockdown, shop michaels.com for a lot of this product. And um, uh, there was some conversation about this arrived and where. I, I I bought this box set and was and have started using this gift list page and I used the where for where I hid it in the house, not where I bought it oh. from. Because yeah, I've, I've lost presents before and found them three months later. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea too. I I would I personally would use it for especially if you're doing online shopping where you ordered it from just because yeah. I feel like this year so many of us are going to be doing online shopping I mean yeah. online shopping is huge anyway but this year especially I think it's going to be even bigger and yeah. so for me I think it's important to put where you ordered it so that if it never shows up you know like how to look for it in your email like to how to search for that item like oh I bought it from Michael's or oh I bought it from Target or wherever you bought it from whatever yeah. it is that you're buying so that you can search it in your emails later if you need to. And I really liked your changing this to arrived because that's, you know, that's the other thing. It's like keeping up with all of it. How are we going to keep up with which boxes where and everything? Um, there's also some people wanting to just check in to where your YouTube, Instagram, your I, I told. Yeah. So for those of you, your Heather Kell, Heather, Heather, Hel Heather Kell of a plan. So yes. Um, Heather yes. Kell, Kell of a plan. So, so on, in, on Instagram, I'm Cal of a Plan. Um, and on YouTube, I, you if you search Cal of a Plan on YouTube, I'll pop up. But the URL on YouTube is actually youtube.com slash Heather Kell. But if you search Cal of a Plan, all my videos will show up too. So um, that's where you can find me. Okay. So thank all right. So 
I think we have time for probably one more list. Maybe two. Um, I wanted to show y'all another idea kind of of how to do this, but if you needed it to look more like this, you needed it more to be like lines. So this, maybe this will be like, you could consider this a shopping list maybe um, instead of a gift list. And this could be something that you easily make. So I'm going to take this sticker. It says, remember at the top. I don't want it to say, remember. I really just want the clear white. And then I can use this to cover up here where it says notes. If you don't want that there, if you want it to be kind of a blank list. And then I could go back to these letters and I could spell out, I'm going to spell out the word shopping, but I want to show you guys how to make just a super easy list. It doesn't even have to, it's not going to be super decorative. You could just write shopping. You don't have to use stickers if you want it to be fast, but I love stickers. So I'm going to use stickers anytime I have the option to. So I'm just going to spell out shopping and you could use this for shopping for gifts, shopping for decorations. If you just want to go all out decorating your house this year, uh, shopping for groceries for the Christmas meal or whatever, or even just anytime you need to make any list in your planner. I'm, I want to show you a super easy way to make a list. So here we have shopping. Okay. Now, I don't know about you guys, but drawing straight lines is like really hard sometimes, right? Um, so I had a roll of washi right here. Here it is. I should say, where did it go? So if you're someone who can't draw straight lines or you don't want to mess with drawing straight lines, guys, you can make shopping using washi, making a shopping list, making your lines using washi. So I could do the top like this, lay it down, grab an X-Acto knife, cut right along that line, cut right along this line. And this is just a thin washi. You could buy this washi, this size washi. Michaels will have it in all kinds of designs. But I love the thinner washi because you can easily just make lines like this. So then maybe here you want to do, maybe you're going to do a gift list. So your first column, you could just use this lay it down and you have a column and then here you could do it again oops that was a little bit crooked but the great thing with washi is if it's crooked you just Pill it up and do it again. Whereas if you're trying to draw your lines, if it's crooked, you just have a crooked line. But with washi, you can actually, you have the opportunity to straighten it again. And you could do this with any paper that you have on hand. You could even get like computer paper and punch it with your happy planner punch. And then maybe one more. Okay. Then you have a washi on here. Then you could, maybe you're gonna do this for gifts. So over here you could say who it's for, what it is. where you got it, trying to squeeze in these letters in this tiny box. Um, maybe I put this for did it buy or did I buy it and this for did it arrive, okay? And then now you have it, super cute. Super easy way to make a list if you need to make a list with washi. So that's just another idea that I wanted to show y'all for a shopping list. The next page that we're gonna make is a bucket list page because the holidays are all about traditions and doing the things that are important and special to you. So 
for this page, we're going to use the colorful shapes again, and we're going to use the winter sticker book, the blue one. Okay. If you go to this book, the blue one, it actually has bucket list items for you. They're already there. So it's super easy to make your bucket list. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this sticker. It says today. I'm going to cut off where it says today. And I'm going to place it over here. Again, just to cover, you don't have to cover up this notes thing like I do every time, but I just do it so that I could turn it into whatever I want it to be. Okay, and then let's see, I'm trying to see if there's a sticker that says like Christmas memories or bucket list. If there's not, I think I'm gonna grab this one because it kind of goes with the florals that are on the edge and I'm gonna put it like this. Cut off the edges. Okay. And then does this book have letters or do we have to go back to the other? Yes, it does have some. <coughs> Excuse me. So I could go here. And I could spell out bucket list. For those of you who have never made a bucket list for your planner, it's basically, a, it's kind of like making a list of all the things that you want to do. A lot of people make them seasonally. So there's like a spring bucket list and a fall bucket list and a summer bucket list. And it's all the things you want to do during that season, the things you hope to do. One reason I love doing bucket lists is because once you have your bucket list made, you can refer to your bucket list to plan out the things that you're going to do each week. So maybe part of your planning for the week when you're filling in your planner is to refer to your bucket list and pick one or two items from your bucket list and write them in your planner um, so that you know, like, I want to get this done. And then this is when I'm going to get it done. Make a plan for doing that item. So once you make your bucket list, be sure not to just put it in your planner and forget about it. Because the point of a bucket list is to remind you of the things that you hope to get done during that season or during whatever it is that you're making it for. So this is the Christmas one. So these are the things I want to get done during Christmas. So I'm going to want to refer to this throughout November and December. And when I am planning um, each week and writing in my planner, I'm going to refer to my bucket list and I'm going to say, wh what is something that I could squeeze in this week for my bucket list? Because some of these things are super easy to, to do, but you might forget to do them if you don't make a plan. So th these, these are a great reminder um, to make a plan for the things that you want to do. So then what I'm going to do over here in this box that I added, I'm just going to letter, not even letter, more just write the word Christmas 2020, just so that I know this is my Christmas 2020 bucket list. Now I still have kind of that um, blank spot at the bottom, like I didn't fill in the whole thing. So what I could do is get one of these smaller flowers and put it there just to kind of help cover that up. Um, and then maybe take this flower and put it over here just to kind of help create that balance. So then here are my bucket list items that are like the options. And so what I like to do is I like, let's maybe do silver, let's see. I like to pick the ones that I want to do and I pair them with a colorful box or a colorful shape. Um, so let's see, send Christmas cards. I love getting Christmas cards. I love sending Christmas cards. It is one of my favorite parts of the holiday. So what I like to do is I layer the bucket list item on top of that sticker and then I add it to my page. Now, some people are, some people when I do this will ask me, 
why did you add this? So what this is for is to track that I got this done. So whenever I send my Christmas cards, I will come back to this bucket list and I will write the date that I sent the Christmas cards. So it's kind of like checking it off. I got it done. Pat on the back. Go me kind of thing. Okay. So the next thing you can look at this. What is it? Something bake cookies. That's something I want to do. My niece, Maddie loves to bake. It's seriously like her favorite thing. We have so much fun baking together. So bake cookies. And then maybe I put this one down here. Okay. Then I'm going to pull another sticker and I'm going to look for another item, something that I want to do. Enjoy drinking hot cocoa. Okay. I'm going to add it here. And then maybe put it here. Now, when I'm using, when I'm actually planning, I, I personally, on Sundays, I write down um, my plans for Monday through Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, I usually write down my plans for Thursday through Sunday. So what I would do is when I sit down to actually write in my planner, I would refer to this and maybe I see drinking hot cocoa. That's something that's so easy to do, but it's also something that like we could just forget about if we, if we're not purposeful. And so what you could do there is, oh, look, me and Matthew are just going to hang out on this one night and not, and just watch movies. Maybe that's the night we drink hot cocoa. And that way I can plan it in my planners. So then this one says decorate the house. I already know I decorate the house every year on November 15th. It is my tradition um, November 15th was my mom's birthday. Um, my mom had leukemia and passed away when I was 18 and, but she loved Christmas. And so a lot of my Christmas decorations are hers. And, um, like I have a lot of her ornaments. She gave me a piece every year for a snow village and would write on the box. And so when I put up my snow village, I get to like see her handwriting and see the notes that she wrote me. And so I always do that on her birthday. Just it's a special way for me to celebrate her birthday, which was November 15th. So I already know that's the day that's going to be going on my bucket list right there. Um, this one says, listen to Christmas music. This is something I'm going to do all the time. I probably don't need it on a bucket list, but I love Christmas music. I'm going to put it on there anyway. Um, here, I'm going to put make a gingerbread house. Again, like I said earlier, my niece is loving baking lately. Um, and so I think she would really love making a gingerbread house together. So I'm gonna put this one kind of like that. Let's see, I'm trying to see if there's another shape. You know what would have been really cute is if we, I had done all circles and turned them looking like they were ornaments. How freaking cute would that have been? Um, the sticker book with the bucket list items is the blue winter book. Read. This is read a Christmas story. I actually want this to just say read Christmas story. Um, because that's like the Christmas story in the Bible is important to me to read. So I'm going to cut off A and I'm going to put this over here like that. And then once you kind of get to this point, <coughs> excuse me, guys, I'm going to take a sip of water. Sorry about that. My throat was getting itchy. Um, you kind of are just filling in the spots. So probably not going to a Christmas party. Ooh, look at Christmas lights. I love, we always, I like to find a Christmas scavenger, a Christmas light scavenger hunt, like online and always make Matthew go and do a Christmas light scavenger hunt. We made his parents do it with us last year. It was tons of fun. I love it. So I'm gonna put, look at Christmas lights. And then I feel like I need like one more right here. Um, Maybe we can fit a circle here with a word here. This one says wrap gifts. I love to wrap gifts. So that can go on my bucket list. 
And then maybe one more. Mm, I don't like that. Okay, that kind of ripped the page a little bit, but I'll just be sure to cover that part up. Okay, and then hang ornaments, AKA decorate the Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, now what you could do is you do have like random um, spots that you could fill in. So let's see, maybe like here, this is a little Christmas cookie. So I could put that there. Um, this is a cute Christmas tree. So I could put that there. This is a cute little mug, put that there. And just use these just to kind of help fill in the gaps that are left, just to kind of help it make, make it look balanced. So all of the stickers that I used on this page were from this winter book. All of them were from this book. So if you get this book, you'll have all the Christmas stickers. And then the silver stickers were from the Colorful Shapes book. But then you could put this in your planner, use it to help you plan your weeks to add a little bit of holiday cheer into every week. And then if you want on the back, you could print photos from when you actually do these things. And you can make like a little memory page on the back showing the things that you actually got to do. So that is the bucket list page that we made. This is, the shopping list page. This is the gift list page. And then you could add that gift list on the back. We also made this gratitude page. So lots of extra pages for our planner. And then of course, we also talked about how to add gratitude into your regular planner. So if you want to switch the camera back to my face, um, then I can answer any questions that people have. Any final questions? Heather? Yes. Uh um, I think we have some new people on the call that have not worked with our product before. And I was wondering if you could show them what a Happy Planner Punch looks like. Yes, I can. So this one is actually exclusive to Michael's. This is the Stephanie White Happy Planner Punch. Um, this one is, these are sized for the big. Um, there's also a blue classic sized one that you could also get at Michael's. Um, I would suggest just splurging for the big. The big one does cost a little bit more, but the great thing about the big planner is you can use it no matter what size planner you use. And you might change your planner size year to year. Like this year, maybe you're using a classic, but next year a big might work better. But if you, if you, if you go ahead and buy the big punch, then you know it's always gonna work for whatever planner you use for that year. Um, the great thing about the punch is you can punch anything and add it to your planner. Like I loved it when I was teaching because I would use the big planner. And as a teacher, you're always getting like different handouts and calendars and paperwork that you need to keep up with. And so I would punch them and then add it to my planner because the big, big planner is the same size the paper is the same size as like a piece of computer paper so anything that's printed you can just punch it and add it to your planner it's great for punching photos to add to your planner it's great like honestly Deanna we might need to have a class just on why you need a happy planner punch and like right. <laughs> teaching people all the different things you can punch and add into your planner like I could literally probably come up with 20 reasons why you need a happy planner punch right um but it's also great the big one has these lines and these lines will show tell you where to line up your paper to get it to punch for whatever size planner you have so like if you line up to this one that is going to punch for the big if you line up to this one it's going to punch for the classic um and if you line up to this one it's going to punch for the mini and you would be lining it up um like in the middle so like if your paper's lined up with the two middle ones it's going to punch for the mini 
if it's lined up with the two these two it's the classic and if it's lined up with these two it's the big um but yeah i love i actually have multiple happy planner punches because i use them all the time right so that was one of the questions was can you is there a punch available and uh, and we also sell fill paper which was another question and then we have two more classes this week tomorrow yes and thursday yes i have we have a class tomorrow at three o'clock with uh christine from twinkle plans her day and she will be doing meal prepping and hosting an event which is going to be great um because I'm, I'm sure a lot of us our events are going to look different this year and so she's going to give you a lot of ideas on you know how to do that this year and then thursday at three o'clock central both of these classes are three o'clock central um thursday is paper crafting holiday fun with Marielle from mom and a girl with plans that class is going to be amazing I'm, i mean christine's is going to be amazing too but Marielle has like gone to michael's and picked out all this kind of stuff things to show you how to make holiday crafts and it's going to be yeah. a lot of fun i highly highly recommend signing up for both of those classes they're both going to be great if you want to sign up for either one of these classes or any future classes you can go to michaels.com slash classes and they list them all in like chronological order. So if you go there now, you're gonna see like today's classes and then tomorrow's classes and then Wednesday's classes. So you can just scroll through until you find those two. Again, tomorrow's is called meal prepping and hosting an event. And Thursday's is called paper crafting holiday fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, sounds like a lot of fun. And this class, if you missed the beginning um, or you just wanna watch it again, this class will be available on michaels.com um in 24 hours so probably tomorrow afternoon right great thank you heather yeah and again if you want to follow me i'm kel of a plan on instagram and youtube um and i love sharing ways to use your planner so i'd love for you to um come hang out with me over there thanks for coming today i hope you guys had a fun time and that i hope you feel a little more prepared to tackle this holiday season All right. All right. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.